I was hired to clean the filthiest house known to man. I guess we'll start in the front and slowly work our way back. How does someone's driveway even get this dirty? Look at what the original color's supposed to be compared to this. However, with this little line, this already looks 17 times better than it did. And so now I've cleared off this area so it should be done. However, thanks to the lovely comments, I now know I can hit tab and it'll highlight all the dirt for me. So I no longer have to guess where something's at. I can just see it glowing bright and yellow in my face. And there we go, driveway cleaned. Oh, and this all washes away super easy. I don't even need to be like extremely careful with this. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. There we go. Now if I just shift the camera like this, it looks like a normal home. Don't worry, little bungalow. I'll save you from this wretched state. I'm sorry, look at how clean this window's supposed to be in comparison to this. <laughs> Is there some evil entity that's just slinging mud onto things people love and care about? And if so, what do these people do to just make it so mad? There we go with that. It's like the front half is clean. Who would have thought such a beautiful looking house existed under all of this? Let's set this ladder here so that way it's out of my way. Because I want to get the front of the house done. Because the side of the house looks simple enough, it's just going to be a big spray. The roof, however, now this is- What is that? They have green mold growing on their roof. Literal ocean algae up there, my gosh. Oh, I cleaned the wall, nice. With that, I believe, yeah, the whole front of the house is clean. And now let me move on to one of these side walls. Because what I want to do is refill my universal cleaner and see just how efficient this actually would be against it. It's about halfway empty. Just a little more spray and it's out. All right, how much did that get done? That was like half of it, okay. I'll start by cleaning all the grime off these bottom bricks here. There we go. And then up and down this little post. You know, I don't know if it was worth the 15 bucks considering I still have to go over it anyways. But hey, at least my job's a little easier. Wow, it really did not get all the way up there, huh? Start at the top of the window frame and go across. And then I can just slowly work my way down from here. And by slowly, I mean just hit A and D and go as fast as possible. Because I believe that should be all of the lower wall clear. Yeah, it's just a half yellow grotesque thing now. But that's where the step stool comes in. And then does this clear all the way up to the top or do I lose pressure? No, that kind of clears all the way up. So yeah, I can just go up and down and clear a ton of wall this way. And then I'll use a super high pressure to kind of get here in the crack. Because I don't think my water hose actually stretched that far. Oh, I cleaned a post, I guess. Just a little bit more, boom, sidewall clean. And to get the under roof side, I just kind of have to put the step stool here. And this should pretty much clean most of it. I can just jump, yeah. <laughs> I don't advise jumping on a step stool, but man, does it work. Nice, it's two little walls done. Now let's go to the roof. Seriously, what is this green stuff? Can I just, oh, it washes right away. Can I use the white nozzle for this actually? The white nozzle works for like the really black dirt and the green nozzle can clean up the white stuff, but you need the pressure from the yellow to be able to take care of this green mold. So let's just use the green. Cut the roof in half and then into a quarter. Ah, simplicity, how I love thee. Here we go, that's one quarter done. It looks like I kind of missed some spots, hello. Just invisible dirt that I didn't see, okay, that's cool. And now if I combine my already falling off the roof speed with just A and D back and forth, it kind of makes an auto cleaner. This roof will be clean in no time. Here we go, just a little bit of a tidy up. And that's pretty much the front of the roof done. Couple of little leftover spots here. And I devised a plan for the gutters while I'm up here. If I just manage to balance along them, I can clean the entire inside while I walk. Yes, no, I'm slipping. Is that enough? Yeah, gutter clean, nice. Oh, and the reason why the roof isn't halfway done is there's still this entire part. It's fine. All I have to do is section it. There we go. Now it's not so intimidating. It's just a couple of little patches. And this is much faster now that I don't have to worry about falling off. There we go, one patch done. I think I've almost fallen off the roof four times now. That's fine. Just gotta tread this line, perfect. There we go, majority of it gone. And now can I just kind of stand here and clean it like this? Yeah, this sort of works. No, I slipped. Oh my gosh, this is so disgusting from back here. If I walk through that door, is there gonna be a weird creepy girl with like a broken doll? I have cleaned so much roof. What's going on? Are they stalking my power wash job? Is that what they're doing? All right, ladder, come here. And then I'm gonna set you up right there. Or I won't, you'll phase away and then I'll fall. 
That's fine, I'll just work on this side of the house since I'm down here anyways. Luckily, this side shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, well, this little top bit can be an issue, but I'll just jump. What am I balancing on? Oh, I'm, I'm standing on a hedge? How is this even possible? Oh, stepladder, go over there. I don't know, but I'm still grateful. I'm fairly confident these windows should be broken by now. I have been spraying this one for a good minute and a half. Oh, little dog prince. Why is there no dog though? I'm just gonna wash these away because clearly something bad has happened. This is pretty much the same tactic as last time with the bricks and steps. However, for some reason, stuff just does not want to come off this porch, my gosh. Where is the dirt that bothers you? Oh, underneath, that's right. Boom, nice. Objects like a giant wall are really no issue. It's whenever you have these like in-between parts that are all just caked with gunk and filth and grime and hair. I just kind of really assumed hair was on there. I don't know, it's kind of disgusting. Like this nice wall and that gutter just get cleaned so easily. Just a slow and methodic up and down to erase away the bad. Things like this porch fence, however, still coated with dirt. Please, I'm begging. Where, where is the dirt left on all of these? I've got both the puzzle, what? Didn't I clean that? Hello? Oh, well, I guess it's clean now. Man, look at this nice little picture. I'm actually gonna buy another universal cleaner to just go ahead and get rid of this porch post and stuff, as well as these steps. This can mass hit a ton of stuff, but it still didn't clean these porch fences. These things are the final boss of Power Washing Simulator. Let me switch to the green nozzle because that has a wider spray and I feel like this stuff isn't really going to be sticking too hard. But this way I can go up the entire post and yeah, cleaning it back and forth. And this also helps with the porch. It's not extremely discolored grime, which means, yeah, it washes away pretty easily. Should be the same with the door. Or, well, there's the window, what? And there's the door. I don't know how I clean that window without using the most powerful spray, but I'll take it. Seriously, where's the dirt left on these? Thank you. I went over those things like five times and it just wasn't clean. It's just a little bit more dirt on the porch roof. There we go. Now to just clear this entire wall. I should really use the green nozzle more often. This is just taking stuff down so fast. It actually looks like it might take me a couple passers to get everything. Oh, I cleaned that wall. How's this work for bricks? Semi-decently. It's good for a mass clean. Oh, I got that too. But not quite the best for the little guys like these posts that have very microscopic dirt molecules on them. Oh, and it's just another wall. You know how this goes. Oh, you fool. That's tic-tac-toe. Now to wash away the evidence that I was slacking on the job. Let me just force grab this and boom. <laughs> I don't know why I'm power washing if I have psychokinesis. I feel as if I should be off doing some villain stuff. This is more satisfying, I guess. Now I believe with this last little bit of wall here, it should be perfectly clean. And then I can use the high power to clean this top part. I don't really have to go slow and controlled with this one. I can just kind of hit tab and then mouse over the yellow if it still exists, which works for me that I'm just barely in range. It's saying I've done every wall. Oh, this one. Oh my gosh, there's still so much right there. Well, pretty much I need to be on the roof for everything else anyways, because I'll need to clean this gutter here which actually is pretty easy, gutter clean. And then the gutter on the front as well. Gutter clean, hey, where's where's the ching? Where's my little, little noise? There it is. And now I can just kind of get this wall and simultaneously hit the roof while I'm at it. Whenever you're ready, wall, whenever you're ready. There it is. All right, it's just the roof left. Split it into two equal sides and then split this one in half. And now time to go back and forth. It's just not as intimidating when it's in these little increments. I really hate the fact that I'm like slipping off the roof still though. Oh, why am I not wearing rubber soles? Or wait, would rubber make me slip more? I don't know how science and physics works. I'm just a man with a pressure washer. Slowly but surely. Just clean up this bird poop that's on here too. And with a little more spraying, this should be pretty much done. Yeah, it's just a little yellow spots here. I just gotta clean up the front of the house. Uh, it takes so much effort to walk backwards on a slick roof, who'd have thought? Now one last little push, I'm 99% of the way there. I honestly feel like I've cleaned up enough of the micro dirt that I don't even need to do this one super well. Yeah, job complete. Time to go admire my work. Wow, look at that. What was once the house from Nightmare on Elm Street is now an acceptable home. Look at that shine. So it looks like my next objective is cleaning an entire playground. 
Wait, this actually doesn't look so bad. What's the big deal here with all the- Oh wait, it's all the inside. Well, at least I have a little soccer ball to kick around and have fun with. 